What if Saturn lost control of its rings? Hey, Mr. Banana, do you remember Saturn? Well, you know, the planet with put a ring on it attitude. So, rumor has it the planet is gradually losing control of its huge rings. And if the process continues, flying asteroids, debris, and other junk might destroy our solar system. How? Bombarding everything on its way, that's how. The rings are a relatively new accessory. Saturn may have been a far less remarkable pale dot without its trademark rings not that long ago. The data from NASA's departed Cassini spacecraft reveals that the majestic rings of rock, ice, dust, and debris formed between 10 and 100 million years ago. This means that the dinosaurs would have seen Saturn just as a planet, no rings. Scientists believe that rings probably form when objects like comets, asteroids, or even moons broke up in orbit around Saturn due to Saturn's very strong gravity. The pieces of these objects kept colliding with each other and broke into even smaller pieces. These pieces gradually spread around Saturn to form its rings. Something similar could have happened to our moon. Enter some object big enough to destroy it, and boom! Earth have rings too. The Problem with the Ring System in some ways, Saturn's ring system resembles the dust and gas ring that surrounds a young star. Planets may form such a ring, so understanding the size of dust grains and their distribution around Saturn may help scientists understand how planets form and evolve. Intriguingly, it's fed by geysers on one of Saturn's moons, Enceladus. Nothing lasts forever. Believe me, Mr. Banana, any object that cared enough or had gravity powerful enough could have its own set of gorgeous rings like our lovely Saturn has. Uranus and Neptune, for example, they also have rings, not as impressive and huge, but still. However, if rings are temporary, perhaps we just missed out on seeing giant ring systems of Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, which have only thin ringlets today. The rings are thought to be short-lived compared to the age of the solar system, meaning that if we lived at a very different time, we may not have seen rings around Saturn. Or we might not see them in the future because the planet is losing control of its accessory. Saturn is losing its rings. Yes, it is a confirmed <laughs> fact. The planet is losing its mighty rings at a very alarming rate. There's the ring rain. Oh, baby, it's raining, raining. But let's not get carried away. Some particles of ice that the rings are made up of are being vaporized by the UV radiation. The planet's magnetic field is pulling the water vapor to the surface, and it falls like regular rain. They say that the planet gets almost 6,000 pounds of water every second. It's like… a lot. You can fill an Olympic pool in half an hour when it rains like this. Maybe in 100 million years, we won't see these wonderful rings at all. What if rings break apart and fly out into the solar system? How would you like that? Asteroids, huge chunk of ice, huge rocks the size of your grandma's house will be flying all over the neighborhood, hitting everything they have on their way. Do you really believe we could survive all that? Don't worry just yet. Most of the so-called building blocks of the rings is made of ice. According to these new measurements, the mass of Saturn's rings is about 15.4 sextillion kilograms. So, the rings have a mass about half that of Saturn's moon, Mimas. The rings are bright and mostly made of ice. Over a long period of time, they would have become contaminated by debris and darkened, indicating a greater age. Anyway, the huge ice blocks don't sound particularly scary. They come in all shapes and sizes, and are either falling into Saturn in the form of rain, or trying to escape its gravitational pull and break into the outer space. Luckily, our planet is not located too close to Saturn, so we shouldn't be scared of the ice blocks or even rocks flying in our direction. It's nice to imagine our solar system and everything located in it like a neighborhood, but you should remember that the planets aren't jammed so close to each other as we used to see in the images from the internet or even school books. There's a lot of empty space out there, filled with nothing. The distances between the planets, moons, and other objects are just immense. So. Don't expect to see any icy ring particles anytime soon. Plus, we're protected by the atmosphere that will burn any ice chunk in a matter of seconds. Most likely, we'll only see some raining, drizzling, or just vapor in the upper layers of the atmosphere. Moreover, there's Jupiter. Oh yes, don't forget that this planet is protecting us from asteroids all the time. Astronomers say that Jupiter has a very important job in the solar system. 
its role as being a planetary shield, protecting Earth from comet impacts. So, basically, Jupiter is a cosmic vacuum cleaner. So we can feel very happy that Jupiter is doing its vacuum cleaner job and hoovering up all these large pieces before they come for us. Without Jupiter, life on Earth might have been obliterated by comets and asteroids before it even got a chance to begin. Thank you, fella! Better you than us! Oh wait, there's also the asteroid belt! Huh, those ring particles simply don't have a chance for reaching us. It would be impossible to fly through the asteroid belt and not hit anything. Impossible! It's jam-packed with rocks, ice blocks, and debris. Might be a fun thing to watch, though. Anyway, Saturn's rings aren't just enough to bring the destruction of the whole solar system and wreak havoc on their way. So, we are lucky. Did you like this video? Share your ideas with us in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Smart Banana to keep up with our new stuff.